The dark patches appearing on Greenland's ice sheet are far from ordinary. Every summer, areas of the ice, which are typically bright white, shift into a murky gray. This phenomenon, known as the dark zone, mystified researchers for a long time. Only after extensive studies did scientists begin to uncover the underlying causes behind this strange transformation. It turns out that the darkening of the ice is largely connected to the emergence of red, green, and brown colored algae. Even more alarming is the fact that this algae bloom is not a static event, it's growing larger every year. The dark zone is becoming darker, and with that increase comes the terrifying possibility of dangerous microbes beginning to thrive. This transformation, while occurring in a seemingly remote part of the world, should be a matter of global concern. The Greenland ice sheet is one of the most significant natural features of our planet, acting as a massive ice blanket that covers approximately 80% of Greenland. The sheer scale of this ice sheet is mind-boggling, it holds about 8% of the world's freshwater ice, a crucial component of Earth's overall climate system. For most of the year, this vast expanse of ice looks like an unblemished white ocean, stretching over the landscape as far as the eye can see. However, with the arrival of summer and the warming of temperatures, this pristine sheet begins to undergo dramatic changes. As the ice starts to melt, rocky coastal areas begin to emerge, and the once smooth, pure white surface of the ice inland becomes increasingly dark. This dark zone, as it's called, spans an enormous area, about 248 miles in length and 62 miles at its widest point. But what exactly causes this peculiar darkening of the ice? There are two primary reasons. The first is the presence of black carbon. Think of it like dust collecting on a bookshelf over time, the ice sheet in Greenland faces a similar issue. Dust, soot, and other fine particles are carried by the wind and settle on the ice. Unlike dust on a bookshelf, however, you can't simply wipe it away. In Greenland's case, this dirty mix accumulates and lingers for thousands of years. In 2014, researchers examined the darkened regions of the ice sheet and discovered that black carbon was a significant component of the dirt. The presence of black carbon in the atmosphere largely results from human activities, particularly the burning of fossil fuels and biomass. Wildfires in northern Canada and Alaska, for instance, produce vast amounts of black carbon, which is then carried across the Arctic by atmospheric currents, eventually settling on Greenland's ice. Black carbon, as its name suggests, is dark in color, which means it absorbs more sunlight. This absorption contributes to the ice sheet's darker appearance, leading to increased surface melting during summer months. The second major factor responsible for Greenland's summer ice makeover is algae, specifically two main types, Ankylonema nordenski old asterisk and asterisk Ancylonema alaskana asterisk. These algae are specially adapted to cold environments and are typically found in icy regions. During the winter, they remain dormant, buried deep within the ice. But when spring arrives and temperatures rise, these algae slowly make their way to the ice's surface. By summer, they bloom, thriving under nearly 24 hours of sunlight each day. Under normal conditions, these algae are green, but when exposed to sunlight, they change color, turning brown as a protective mechanism against harmful ultraviolet radiation. This color shift is what makes the ice appear darker. Although this algae bloom is a natural occurrence, what has scientists worried is the fact that it's getting worse every year. The algae are flourishing in greater numbers, and the dark zone is expanding at an alarming rate. These algae depend on phosphorus, a nutrient that is abundant in the environment due to the breakdown of rocks containing a mineral called hydroxylapatite. As the climate warms, more dust containing phosphorus is carried by stronger winds, feeding the algae and allowing them to grow even more. This creates a feedback loop where the more the algae grow, the darker the ice becomes, leading to faster melting. From 2000 to 2012, the size of the dark zone increased by 12 percent, a worrying trend that shows no signs of slowing down. But why should we care about dark patches on ice that's thousands of miles away? The reason is quite simple, dark surfaces absorb more heat. Just as wearing black clothes on a hot sunny day makes you feel warmer, the darkened ice absorbs more sunlight than its bright white counterpart. This phenomenon is known as albedo, which refers to how reflective a surface is. White ice has a high albedo, meaning it reflects most of the sunlight, keeping it cool. However, when the ice darkens, it absorbs more sunlight, lowering its albedo and accelerating the melting process.
The combination of dust, black carbon, and algae blooms is responsible for about 70% of the changes in Greenland's albedo. As the ice absorbs more sunlight, it melts faster, contributing to the rapid ice loss we are now witnessing. This process is critically important for predicting the future of the Greenland ice sheet and the global climate. Greenland's ice sheet is the second largest in the world, covering an area roughly equivalent to all the land in the United States east of the Mississippi River. With an average thickness of 1.4 miles, it holds an enormous amount of ice. Unfortunately, ice loss in Greenland has been accelerating at an alarming rate. In the 1990s, Greenland was losing about 25 billion tons of ice annually. Now, that number has skyrocketed to around 234 billion tons per year, nearly 10 times more in just a few decades. The consequences of this accelerated ice melt could be catastrophic for the world. If the entire Greenland ice sheet were to melt, global sea levels would rise by approximately 24 feet. Such a rise in sea levels would have devastating effects on coastal communities and cities around the globe. Low-lying countries like the Netherlands could be submerged, and islands such as the Bahamas and the Philippines would be at extreme risk of disappearing altogether. While a complete melt of the Greenland ice sheet might take several hundred or even thousands of years, recent discoveries suggest that Greenland's ice is more fragile than previously thought. Sediment samples taken from a two-mile-deep ice core revealed traces of willows, insect parts, fungi, and even poppy seeds, providing the first direct evidence that Greenland was once covered by a green tundra landscape. This occurred around 400,000 years ago, during a time when Greenland's ice sheet melted away entirely. This discovery is both fascinating and troubling, as it indicates that the ice sheet has collapsed before and could do so again in the future. Adding to the concern is the discovery of microbes in Greenland's meltwater. Researchers have found that these waters are packed with thousands of microbial species, some of which could potentially be released into the ocean as the ice melts. While the chances of these microbes causing a global health crisis are low, it's a possibility that cannot be ignored. In some regions near glacial meltwater, there is already a higher risk of viruses jumping from animals to humans. Despite all of this, it's important not to panic just yet. There is still much we don't know about what's happening in Greenland's dark zone. Scientists are working hard to gather more detailed measurements of the relative abundance of dust, algae, and black carbon. By better understanding these factors, we can develop more accurate predictions for the future and take steps to mitigate the potential impacts. That's all for today. If you found this information fascinating, be sure to give the video a like and share it with your friends. And if you're still curious to learn more, check out these other videos and continue exploring with us.